After the arrest of a six-year-old girl went viral last year, lawmakers are meeting to make sure it doesn't happen again. News 6's Mark Lehman met with one legislator who's announcing a change in a bill to keep children under 12 from being arrested. The state senator behind this legislation says what happened to six-year-old Kaya Roll should never happen again. Now here at the state attorney's office today, he gave us an update on those efforts. Meanwhile, Roll's grandmother is reacting after video was released of the girl's arrest. I think uh, it was already an uphill battle, to be honest, to, to get to this point. State Senator Randolph Bracey announcing a compromise when it comes to a bill filed in response to last year's arrest of six-year-old Kaya Roll. The original legislation called for prohibiting the arrest of children younger than 12, and now appears that bill has support from lawmakers with the age reduced by two years. Where uh, 10 years old and younger would be prohibited from being arrested, with the exception of forcible felonies. The announcement coming less than a week after Roll's family released body camera footage showing the moment she was taken into custody. The girl heard crying as she was placed in handcuffs, something coming after staff members say Kaya punched and kicked some of them. Her grandmother saying that video was difficult to watch. It was really heartbreaking. I started to watch it and then it broke me down a bit and I had to, I decided I wasn't going to finish it. The person wearing the body camera, Officer Dennis Turner, was ultimately fired for not seeking approval before the arrest. Several months later, Kaya's grandmother says she has mixed emotions about a legislative compromise, but says she's also grateful. I would really have been more comfortable with a higher age, but at least it's a starting point. And from here, the Senate Appropriations Committee is set to vote on this bill and amendment tomorrow with a full vote set for later this week. The end of this year's legislative session is right around the corner, scheduled for next Friday. Reporting in Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.